Welcome back to the scariest TikToks slash YouTube shorts in the world? Question mark. Muchachos, I regret to inform you of a great tragedy, but I'm out of Jesus candles. I need to go to my local Mexican store and get me some more uh, demon protection, but let's just get started and see what happens this week. N -n 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 Ghost Hunter on YouTube started documenting the poltergeist activity in his home. He caught some amazing evidence. Take a look at these clips from his YouTube channel. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Orale. Orale, starting out with some activity. If I was filming this shit, I'd be out of the house. Like, I'd be running out the house. My backyard chair starts levitating. Bro. My house would be up for sale. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. If you look closely, when the table starts moving, the burb starts vibing. Watch. <laughs> uh, you know, there could be some shit going on because the burb is actually reacting to it. <laughs> Bro, come on. For real? Okay, look, this is very clever if it's fake. But if it's real... Okay, how do you fake that? I don't know. It, it's pretty spooky. Although, it's really hard to tell whether this is fake or real. But you know what is real? The sponsor of today's video, Dragon City. Today's episode is brought to you by Dragon City. In Dragon City, you have the power to create your very own dragon empire. You can collect, hatch, and evolve over 1,000 unique dragons, each with their own special abilities and elemental powers. But Dragon City is more than just dragons. One of my favorite features in this game is the breeding aspect. You could basically put a mommy dragon and a daddy dragon together and then they will make a little dragon baby that's unique and will have its own abilities and then you can feed it and watch it grow oh you think that's pretty cute now well, wait until that baby grows up because now you can prove your dragon strength by fighting fools online on epic pvp battles all around the world so that you can prove that you're the dragon master after all you're here to build a dragon empire you can unleash powerful dragon skills and strategies as you conquer challenging quests and events like the mythical wizard's hollow where you can test your abilities and be rewarded with epic treasure team god you can also join a vibrant community of players and collaborate in alliances unlock exclusive rewards as you work together to become the strongest dragon masters in the realm download dragon city right now by clicking the link in the description below or scanning the qr code here on the screen but wait i'm giving you a bonus right now you get a special bundle with 15,000 food 30,000 gold and a rare fortune dragon to help you get started on your journey you're welcome and thanks again to dragon city now Back to the video. Just oh wait till the I don't end. like this at all. Oh god, there's even more. Imagine he finds a skinwalker. Looks like we've already passed it a while ago, but that tree is gone. I'm probably gonna turn around soon. Am I supposed to listen for something? Oh, there's two ways. Holy crap, dude, this trail going on forever. It just got really quiet, really fast. Oh. Did you see that thing? And the bike won't start. That was my cue to leave. Wait a minute. Wait, dog, I got chicken skin full. Wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Listen to the crickets and then listen to them go quiet. Oh, there's two ways. Holy crap. A lot of crickets. Going on forever. And then everyone, everything just goes quiet. It just got really quiet really fast. I don't know. You could say that there was some sort of like compression that took out the woods noises. But you can still hear his voice just fine. Like it, it, the voice and the motorcycle voice and the motorcycle sound don't change. Apart from the thing that was watching him, whatever that is, I think the thing that gave me the most chicken skin was the fact that the sound just stopped. 
I feel like I've heard of that before. Here we go. What does it mean when the forest goes silent? Is the most dangerous time in the forest when everything goes silent? Only if you're being stalked by a predator, including another human. Many animals, especially birds, will get quiet or just leave the area when predator is there. And so if you are being stalked, suddenly everything going quiet can be an indication that there's one nearby. There can be other reasons for quiet, though. So just because everything goes silent doesn't mean that you're about to be attacked. Keep in mind that you, you too, could be considered the predator they are fleeing from. The forest also gets very quiet right before a storm. So the sounds in the forest going completely silent means there's a predator nearby. Imagine, like, just the thought of that. That's very real. Imagine you're just in the forest, just hanging out in the woods or in the trail like that. And then everything just goes quiet suddenly. My guy said, that's my cue to leave. I think that was a 10 out of 10 reaction. I think that was, uh, that was creepy in more ways than just whatever the f was looking at him. But the fact that there could be a predator stalking him. <laughs> Next! Okay. Ay, tu putisima madre, pinche gato culero! I told y'all not to send me that shit, cabrones. That's what you get. That's what you get. That scared the f*** out of me. <laughs> I'd rather have jump scares like that than if you see another person that looks like you, run away immediately. Those TikToks, they're, they're old. They're getting real old. That's the, the entire subreddit is flooded with those. Yeah, let, let's have a conversation. I want y'all to see the state of the subreddit right now. If I just scroll down to like the top voted videos, it's a bunch of spam. See that video? Twice. And then there's like this one of this girl going around today. This one that's just like this girl dancing. I've seen, I've seen like the start of it so many times just going down. There's like nothing scary on here, cabrones. When they go coming down the tree, you got like, it, it's, it's, if you see another person that looks like you. And then it's that girl dancing again. There's a Five Nights at Freddy thing, a guy playing with his cat. This one has been sent like every single day. The guy down in the basement already reacted to. I've seen this shit. I've seen this one too. More FNAF. There's the girl again. Some parking lot stuff. More FNAF. The same water thing. The girl again. A robot getting a dentist appointment. <laughs> The girl again. Now put out a post asking for help from new moderators to just kind of help clean things up. So we'll see how it goes. But look at this. We've got 64,000 members. We've made it to the top 5% of subreddits. And this is the kind of content that's on here. It's, 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 it's embarrassing, muchachos. If the kind of shit y'all be sending starts with, if you see another person that looks like, don't post it. If it starts with the TikTok dancing girl, don't post it. And ask yourself this, has Eddie already reacted to this? If the video is more than two, three months old, I've probably already reacted to I've been making these videos every week for a year. I get it. There's a lot of new people on here. You guys join every single day. I appreciate it. Muchisimas gracias. I love y'all. But if you're going to post, post some good shit. Okay, there's my rant. This is my last ditch effort to save the subreddit. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go to Josh's Discord or something. <laughs> Okay, rant over. Let's get back to the spookies this week. I still love you. I've seen this guy before. This looks new. I think it's waiting for me to turn off the lights. Very spooky, bro. How you make yourself cry like that? I want to learn how to cry. <laughs> like that? Like, on command? Here, let me try it real quick. Let me try it real quick. I can't. <laughs> I'll practice my crying and get back to you uh, the next time we do one of these. <laughs> hey, yo, it's the Miranda Sings apology. What is this? Ticket, please. You give ticket. I don't have a ticket. Are you going to play the ukulele and cry? At, or, that's okay. Someone else left there, so you can have it. All aboard. <laughs> Where is this going? Please take your seat. The train is about to depart. It looks like there's already a passenger on board. A fart clap monetization. Talk about me all you want. It only makes me more money. <laughs> I mean, hey, look. 
Anyone that ever goes under some sort of controversy or gets cancelled seems to just get more famous. You're only making them richer. If you really want to cancel someone, everyone just stop watching them at once. I don't know, just a thought. Okay, anyway, keep going. Skeleton dog. Wait. I still feel her nails around my neck! I still feel the injection slowly stopping my you're not supposed to be. <laughs> Let's have a sleepover. I'll be watching you. Alright, like, considering that she actually said some shit about how when she was a kid, she lied about her dog, and the dog had to be put down with an injection. Ain't gonna lie, it's weird shit, the stuff she's doing. But goddamn it. Don't slap the microphone. <laughs> hey, yo, this is the one with the... Yeah, the, the mom that's like... She's real hardcore. She's kind of like a Mexican mom, but she's not speaking in Spanish. She's like... For real ghost videos, I will try to destroy it. The only thing that makes me question the valid, the, like how real this is, is the kid himself. Listen, the boy's reactions to me don't sound acted like i'm I, I feel like i'm pretty good at smelling when some shit is acted the mom maybe but that that boy sounds real watch here what did you go in school i said no five minutes and you you about to get spooked, kid. See, his reactions, like, they, I, that's the same way I reacted when I was playing Ocarina of Time at his age, and I got to the, the Temple of Time for the first time, and I heard the music and shit, and I ran out the room. Just like that. Wait a minute, hold on, go back, go back, go back, go back. Ollie, play it in slow motion. Is that a string? Off on the left side of the screen, when the when the headphones get pulled away. Maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. Yeah, I mean, the kid reacts, uh, the kid reacts, like, he's, he, he must be a really good actor then, because he sells it. He definitely sells it. And Al entered a church in Mexico, and they considered this a sign of black magic, so they started to sing to get rid of it. He started dancing. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this is the most Mexican shit I've ever seen, man. This is one of my favorite videos on the internet. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Okay, I will allow this one on this week's scary episode because this is what Mexicans call a lechuza. The lechuza is an owl. And when I was growing up, I was so scared of them because I would get told stories of them actually being witches. And that if I heard one or so, saw one, it would come to my window and haunt me. So I grew up with a legitimate fear of owls. I think they're beautiful birds now that I've grown up, but I was told many horror stories growing up by my cousins and my aunts and uncles and friends. And I even remember being in my neighborhood one time and there was like five of our neighbors out on the street and there was one up there was apparently on top of one of the light posts and they were trying to shoo it away and i remember like trying to go outside and my mom telling me to stay inside because there was a lechuza outside that lechuza is a big deal okay that's why they were trying to pacify it with church music but don't take my word for it have a look at this the spooky story of la lechuza started centuries ago 
and is rooted in Mexican and Tejano folklore. Legend has it Lechuza was a witch who was exposed for practicing the devil's magic. I've never actually read an, an official explanation of it, so I've just had like real world experience and stories about it. The townsfolk weren't happy with that, so they murdered her. Seems reasonable. To enact her revenge, she came back as a creepy bird lady. In fact, she's a shapeshifter who can appear as an ordinary witch during the day and then a huge bird with a woman's face. To give you an idea about what we're talking about here, Lechuza means owl in English. So basically, Lechuza is a huge owl lady who kills people there you go look it up if you want to learn more about that i don't know americans got sasquatch we got la lechuza it's just, it sounds scarier <laughs> pictures that feel uncomfortably familiar ah thank you i i needed i like that one and that one and i swear to god i've been at that u-haul place before Thanks for the Dreamcore Liminal Space video. Much needed. Haven't seen one in a minute. And they always make me feel strangely at peace. All right, next TikTok. What is this? First of all, why would you be out exploring some shit like this? Am I tripping or does this look like some Unreal Engine type shit again? Something about it looks CGI-ish, maybe? I'm ready for a jump scare cover on this. Something's about to pop out, fool. Don't make it brighter! I mean, you probably should. To make sure there's no one coming at you or some shit. Hey yo. Hey yo. Ah, uh, su madre, wey. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Something was looking at that fool. it idiot you can see whatever the thing was like pops out and then he pops out again and then his friend like pops out too he's like oh shit there's a person and then runs away <laughs> it's more scary thinking about when something's gonna pop out that's more scary what is this is that a tornado Why are you adding meme sounds, bro? That's crazy. That's crazy. I will allow it since it's a scary situation to be in, but it's a rare exception. Que chingados, güey, es el diablo, que? My man, move out of the video. What are you doing? Es el diablo, güey. I'm just saying, man, Arab ghost hunters, y'all are on a different level, bro. Que chingados es esto? No mames. <laughs> Something's gonna pop out of the box. I'm ready for it, I'm ready for it. Any time now. Oh. Mid. Creepy. Creepy. I would say uh, I'm more impressed by how they made this. Because this is clearly like some sort of animatronic doll. The lighting is impeccable. Actually, this is more than mid. This is just creepy real creepy you know tonight before you go to sleep this sheep will be counting the seconds for you to go to sleep and it will wait patiently twisting and turning its little box until you've closed your little eyes ah! 
I got you. I got you. I got you. I, I, come on. I, I, okay. Uh, now that I got the 12 year olds out of here, let's have a look at this one. The Menger Hotel. Do you know that the Menger Hotel in San Antonio? Oh, Texas hey, that's near is me. Notorious for being haunted by multiple ghosts, making it one of the spookiest destinations in the state. Guests have reported spine chilling sightings of apparitions of former employees and guests. Unexplained footsteps echoing through the halls and mysterious voices coming from empty rooms. Wait, wait, wait. Apparitions of previous employees? Are you sure it's probably not the previous employees just coming back to collect their checks because they probably haven't been paid? Just a thought. Even scarier, objects have been known to move on their own, as if manipulated by an unseen presence. This ghostly reputation has made the Menger Hotel a hot spot for thrill seekers and paranormal investigators. Orale. You may not be the only one checking in for the night. Should I should I go stay there? Oh, what the f is that? Oh god, I'm unsettled now. I thought I saw something in the camera looking behind me. Okay, uh... <laughs> it's probably nothing, it's just the corner of my eye playing tricks on me. Reptilian creature found in a cave. Someone spotted Mark Zuckerberg in the wild. Alright, here we go. Oh, here we- oh shit! Uh, Owen. Owen. At, yep, it ends there. Oh yeah, 100%. Possessed lizard down by the caves. Spooky. Okay, fine. I at least have to watch it because it was posted so- You guys spammed the shit out of the Reddit with this this week. This better be good. Muchachos, if this the kind of stuff that scares you, you can't be called muchachos anymore. I'm calling you niñitos, little babies, little kids. Stop it. No more dancing TikToks. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> I'm serious, cabrones. I'm gonna give you one more chance. Let's watch this one. What is this? So my friend has a hidden talent where she can laugh without showing facial expressions. <laughs> Oh yeah? I could do it even better. I can laugh with my mouth closed. Watch this. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. All right, that's it, muchachos. Some of these, actually spooky. The poltergeist one was my favorite, and the motorcycle one with the forest. And la lechuza, of course. You can't forget about lechuza dancing to Mexican music. Yeah, that's right. Real scary. <laughs> All right, that's it for me this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see next. I love you guys. And I'm going to see you next time. Now, go send good stuff. Or, or, I'll, I'm going to delete the subreddit. I'm, I think I'm kidding. I'll, I'll go look. I'll go just search up YouTube shorts and shit. I'm not kidding, muchachos. Make it spooky. Don't forget to check out Dragon City by clicking the link in the description and get yourself some bonuses. Adios!